Got to move this down a little bit. I'm not quite as tall as Johnny. <laughs> when they uh, showed me this, the uh, order of the speakers and they said that I was going to be one of the latter ones, I was hoping that, that someone would come up here and cry like a baby so that I wouldn't look so bad. Uh, it's been... They're tougher than I am. It's been a tougher... It's been a very, very tough week for all of us. Um, so many great things have been said by so many great people. Every person in this place has a, has a great memory of Mr. Kiteley. Not one, but a million. And, and we're all honored to be here today, I know that. And, uh, like Coach was saying, we have to find some way to make this a celebration because he meant so much to all of us. Uh, there's so many people that have more right to speak than me, but it's a great honor for me to be up here to share. A few words. Words really can't describe the feeling that you feel about Bill Kiteley. And uh, he made us all feel great. We've, we've heard that time and time again. Uh, he, he made all of us feel like we were, we were his best friend. And, I mean, there's so many great times, just so many great times. I haven't had the opportunity to be around him not even a year yet, and I feel like he's one of the dearest friends I've ever had in my life uh, because of on a daily basis. I said this earlier in the week. Uh, we, we have a fantastic practice facility, and, and we would walk out there, and we'd start practice, and usually at the start of practice, Mr. Kiley would be in his area over there, and there's two doors out there and where he would enter practice and we'd just be about to begin or maybe we were having a huddle and he would come out the door and it was like when they used to say here's Johnny and every single day and he came out with a smile on his face and his arms out like this wanting to hug every single player and every single coach and it wasn't a performance for him but it was a performance for us his, his heart was in it every single day one of the things I look forward to uh, we, we uh, in my estimation, have become so close, it's crazy, and, and uh, that's all, uh, man alive, what a, what a great treat for me and a treasure, uh, but one of the things I look forward to, man, one of the many things I look forward to is on a daily basis, when we went down to the practice floor, Mr. Kyle would be sitting in his same spot, and that would be 10 or 15 minutes before practice, or maybe sometimes about when we were about to, the, about to start. And he and I might have been out last night uh, having dinner and, and, uh, at, until 9 or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or whatever. And I'd go over there and I'd shake his hand and he'd say, hello, warrior, and shake my hand like he hadn't seen me in six months and like I was a family member. And it was something I looked forward to every day. Uh, you know, you, you, you don't, he, he had no idea what it meant to me on a daily basis to be able to, to see his smile. Like we're talking about smiles, you're talking about he's real. He, has, he was really still Israel. It's very difficult because of how sudden everything has happened. Sudden, it, it's very, very difficult for all of us. Um, you know, people say it's a sad day, it's a sad week, it's a sad month. Uh, this, this is a sad eternity. The only way we'll ever make it through it is by very, very, very strong undying faith. And we'll have to, we'll have to practice that faith to make sure we're okay. I can't imagine how much it, how good it must have been to be his child because I've seen how he treated all his other children for a year and man alive he treated those guys with un, unbelievable respect on a daily basis and un, undying love I can't imagine how it must have been to share so many times with him Hazel and I know you told me many times this week about how he was a ball player and you were the cheerleader and it started then and it's gone on forever forever and ever and it will always be ever and ever. I can't imagine uh, having the opportunity to be around him for, for uh, every day uh, for so many years. And I know how, much, how, mu how difficult it must be. He loved the Wildcats more than I'm qualified to tell you because he loved the Wildcats for a long, 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 long time. But it didn't take you long to figure out how much he did love them and will continue to love them. There was, there was, there was a few things, though, that I wanted to share a little bit that were a little bit more light. I brought something out here today. I brought a sock. This is a sock. This is one of these. It's one of these things that 
were talking about how great he was, I'm going to give him a little hard time. For the last three weeks of the season, I'm the head coach at the University of Kentucky. And I'm so proud, I've been so proud to do that forever. The last three weeks of the season, I went to practice with one sock on and one sock off. And I said, Mr. Cotley, I, the first day I did it, I showed him that I, I was out of socks. And so I pulled up my sweats and I had one sock on and I had one sock off. And he laughed at me and whatever, we went on to practice, whatever. Well, I'm expecting the next day, you know, I'm going to have some socks. <laughs> next day, I go to my locker, I'll try to get a couple of socks. I don't have any socks. I said, hey, Mr. Kylie, did you forget? I showed him one sock on, one sock off again. This is a true story, unfortunately. And, and he said, no, I didn't forget. And I said, well, is it possible for, for me to get some socks? He said, I gave you three pair in October. <laughs> I'm thinking we got a, I think we got a really good Nike contract here. I could get at least four pair of socks. <laughs> no. That, that is a, that, that's a real true story. Uh, he celebrated life on a daily basis. And, and you know, before, before he ever said that, he said, Hey, Bubba, I gave you three pair in, in October. When he, was, when he wanted to tell me something, uh, when, he, when he wanted to make a point that he was getting serious, he either said, well, wait a minute, or, hey, Bubba. And when, I, when he said those things, I knew he was serious. So when he said, hey, Bubba, I gave you three pair, I knew I wouldn't get any more socks unless I went and bought them. <laughs> I also heard about how good a player he was over there at Kavanaugh. And I, I heard, I heard, I've, I've heard that he wasn't as good a player, Hazel, as you were a cheerleader, but I heard that he was a pretty good player. But I also heard that, that he was much better at shooting and scoring than he was at passing. And I heard that he did like one of his teammates, I saw him today, and he said, if you played with Bill Cowley, you better be a really good rebounder because you weren't going to get to shoot much. <laughs> That's ironic because I guess he got all the shooting done and all those kind of things uh, before he became the equipment manager here for so long because... There's never been a greater assist man in the history of anything. He's been a great assist man to all of us. Most of the time, uh, when you have a difficult day like today or whatever, um, you kind of put on a time frame or whatever, I think every single person here tonight would go on and on for 24 hours, 48 hours or whatever just to hear great stories about a great man. I know I would. I've uh, learned a lot this week uh, about he and his family and his loving daughter, loving wife, and son-in-law, and how many great stories they share with me. And, and uh, I could listen to them all day long and look forward to listen to many of those great stories as we go forward. I don't really want to quit talking, but I need to. Uh, I've done a quite a bit better than I thought I would as far as balling. But I've been crying all week long. Ever since we got the word that that Bill had passed, and I know I'm not the only one that had been able to sleep any, and I know that I'm not the only one that's been crying all week long. But like Coach Patino was saying, we have to find a way to celebrate his life, and that's what I told our players. And, uh, guys, we have the greatest opportunity, every single person here and across this great state and across the basketball world because not only did he, was he Kentucky Wildcat, he, he's, he, he has a, a, a very, very, very high place in the landscape of college basketball all over the world. So many people knew him and, and know what he meant to this university. But what we've had and what we will continue to have is great inspiration on how we should all live our lives. And you hear so many great things uh, and, and it's going to continue forever because it should. But you don't hear those great things about every single person. And, and the reason you hear those things about Bill Cotley is because he, the way he went about celebrating his life on a daily basis and the way that he treated people every single time. And as a friend, I, I can't, I, uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult to, to move on. You know he's in a greater place. 
Um, you know that he's going to have great influence on all of us forever. They say that they, uh, they can't take it with you. Well, from what I've heard from the equipment room, he's been storing up equipment for about 45 years of those 48. Uh, he wouldn't give players any shoes or any socks or whatever he, unless they had treads showing through them and they could see their feet bleeding on the other side. So that I know that all, uh, all of us, when we get the opportunity to be with him again, he's going to have a Wildcat jersey with our name on it. Thank you.